<laughs> what are you That's doing? That's never happened before. <laughs> Just let it go. I'll pull the Larry. What are you doing? Oh, oh my god. I guess the clutch isn't slipping. <laughs> uh, they fucking didn't spin it just hooked up and fucking <laughs> and the bike went went fucking north and I went south <laughs> hey you notice I didn't fall over though no huh? you didn't fucking skill set my ass is fine stuck the landing Is an absolute freaking rocket ship, man. It is got to be putting down 50 plus horsepower. Fifth gear, you just things start going by real fast when you're on the gas in fifth gear. The, the legendary 490 Mako, the, the, the legend is true. This thing's super fast. Supposedly, Honda copied the port timing and engine configuration on this for the CR500, and I believe it to be true. <laughs> cab on those yeah guys the legend is true this thing is everything they say it is it's an absolute certified freaking rocket ship in 18 1983 there was nothing on the track that would touch this thing well we got a quick minute here gotta w w wish the biz wizard a happy 35th birthday right yeah 35 <laughs> thank you <laughs> it's his birthday today wish him a happy birthday yeah wizard what do you think of the 490 i think they're mean very mean and uh i put a key and carburetor on it to make it a little more just per, on point. It's all in the yeah, carb, right? Yeah, it's all in the carb. <laughs> and I put a key in on there to make it on point. You it know, definitely they, jetted beautifully. Oh, wakes, wakes them up. Makes them like a good bike. Did you race these back in the day? No, I didn't. But I, I, I got right? raced against all, by a few few guys back in the day on these things. Guys, this bike was completely rebuilt from the crank up. There's only three heat cycles on the motor. It was thoroughly broken in. And then Wizard changed the carburetor because he couldn't get the Bing dialed in right. We put the, the key in. A PWK air striker on there and everything's been done the crank bearings crank seals the base gasket head gasket it's bored new piston new rings new top end bearing the whole motor has been completely rebuilt the frame's been repainted this is a frame up rebuild so the whole motor is new starting at the front of the bike you get a new front tire the forks were repainted it's got new fork boots it's got a new front fender it's got a new front number plate new set of gold bars new Mako crossbar pad brand new gas tank brand new seat cover and seat foam uh, it has a new Petcock, fuel Petcock, Clark fuel Petcock, and Wizards pointing out the I, I5, what's it, I? IRC M5B. That's like the biggest, gnarliest it's tire. It's a 140. It's a monster, and this thing can pull it. Let me tell you something. Be careful dropping the clutch with that thing, because this thing just fucking launches, man. It goes. It just takes off on you. And look at the size of the sprocket on that thing. That's the biggest sprocket I've ever seen on a 500. I think you could gear it down quite a bit. <laughs> it, it could definitely handle taller gearing. But with the gearing on our fifth gear, I bet you'd do 90 miles an hour with the gear, with that huge sprocket on there. The right gearing will probably do 115. It's an absolute rocket ship. Tons of torque. The motor's been rebuilt on the inside, repainted and refinished on the outside. The original foot pegs are in mint shape. The swing arm's in really nice shape. It's got the original factory Olin shock and the Mako forks. The side covers are new. And the graphics package on this thing is off the hook. This is a Steiger Designs full custom number 41 Uh one of one in the 41st kit she's ever done. Uh, it's been through the detail shop. They repainted the side cover here and put the nice gold Mako gold leaf on there. Uh, the pipe's been refinished. Uh, it's going back down to the detail shop because I just pulled some holies on this and ripped, ripped, ripped up the loom across the street. So it's going to go in for a final detail. Wizard's going to give it a final going over. Uh, torque down all the nuts and bolts and uh, she'll be ready to take to the track or, or put on display in your museum. Again, new rear tire, new chains and sprockets, a new counter shaft sprocket. Just a beautiful piece. Did I, leave anything, did I leave anything out, Kyle? 
No, I mean this thing is just it's just it's it's awesome bike. It's so visually appealing that um you know, it's pretty much it, it's a perfect bike to have as a centerpiece in like your man cave or your garage or you know, things along those natures cuz the red just pops. The red, the gold, the yellow, it's just it's an eye-catching piece. It'll be spotless, not a speck of dirt on it. When it goes to the detail shop, the tires will be shined up. It'll look like it just came out of the factory, ready to hang from the, the ceiling of your man room. Again, Wizard will give it the final tune. Uh, the de Doc and the boys, Ronnie, will detail it, and she'll be ready to go. Uh, hey, it's only 11 days till Christmas, so not too late to put this red rocket under the Christmas tree. The Mako Legendary Sp Sand Spider 490. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. And... Uh, Junior, you want any closing remarks? Yeah, the obscurity, man. It, European bike, right side chain drive. Just, just the profile of the cylinder and the head and the cases. Uh, unmistakably, Mako. Good luck bidding, boys. Thanks for watching. God bless America.